Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop. Um, big changes, well not really changes, but just progress on stuff. Um, what I'm doing here is I'm actually holding up my quarter scale TA-152 tail wheel mock-up. Most of it's 3D printed and there's some metal parts as well and then some G10 parts that I did instead of having stuff machined to kind of save some, save some money. But uh, this is, like I said, the, the tail wheel retract mock-up. And the Focke Wolf 190 is kind of interesting in how they did their tail wheel design. So it's basically fully actuated and spring, fully, or cable retracted and spring extended. So there's actually a little uh, lever in here that a spring gets attached to. And then that comes down and back and that actually pulls the whole retract assembly down for the tail and then the cable just runs through some pulleys all the way to the front of the airplane to the right main landing gear and then the landing gear strut actually attaches to this cable which does all the retracting of the strut so a couple of guys have asked how the heck this thing works it's kind of cool kind of funky kind of weird and ingenious all at the same time so right now, uh, like I said, it's just kind of a mock-up, so things don't work super smooth yet. I'm still kind of refining stuff, but I got to get these parts of machine and then a couple parts up in here that I'm having machined. I got to get those things in so I can get rid of some slop in the system to, uh, to really fine-tune it and get it working perfect. But right now, essentially there would be a spring here on this little lever, and you can just see it between these two pulleys there, just a piece of G10. And... Uh, that spring will be pulling down on that, which will always be pulling this lever down in these rear pulleys, just from the fulcrum of it. You can see how they move. That's actually pulls it down, and then these front pulleys go in a little slot here. That when I move it, you can see the the hole there. That's actually your downlock there. So as long as that's there, I and mean, you can sit there and push up on the strut. And it actually works really well. The, it just it locks it in there really nice. So that's what it does for the down lock. Kind of, kind of cool. And then for retracting, you can see the cable here runs through this pulley at the top, and then it comes down at an angle to this lever. So when you pull on the pulley or the cable, it let me move that where you guys can see it. And sit there you'll see you'll pull on the cable and how it moves those that lever back and the the rear rollers go up against the front slider track you keep pulling on it and you see it just pulls them right out of that groove there and then up to the top and this is where it's a little wonky because of the slop in the mock-up as you can see it pulls it up in there they get in the groove eventually hard to videotape there we go it goes up in the groove and it just slides up and just the weight of it makes it want to come down and you can see it kind of goes up and down hi buddy you gotta move munchkin move hey out of the way but that's how it works and then when it comes back down of course you got the spring on that lever there which I'll simulate by taking the cable and pulling it this way and basically what it's gonna do is down back and lock it back in place again that's how it works kind of cool kind of interesting so see you later guys